you can describe it to people in the chronology of, you know, you're going to arrive for two weeks and you're going to attend these classes and you're going to meet these faculty, but you can never really describe the emotional experience that you're going to have and the academic experience you're going to have. For somebody who comes from out of state, Summer Institute seems like a, a huge mountain to climb. It's so far away. It's two full weeks from my family, and it was really one of the more intimidating things about the program from the very beginning. However, once I got here and got engaged with the coursework, there's great value in the intensity of it. When you come up here, you are constantly engaged, you're flooded with ideas, you're meeting new people, you're reading articles, you're, you're having midnight conversations about what's happening in, in the community college, both around you and outside of your service area. And it's an immersion experience that is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It is well-rounded, it is focused, it is organized. We have an opportunity to meet community college leaders and just leaders in higher education that we would not otherwise have an opportunity to meet except in a forum like the community college leadership program provides. But on a much larger scale, it's about the work with the cohort. The fellowship and the activities that are embedded in the Summer Institute really foster that strong bond between classmates that sort of sustains you year-round. I think that they benefited greatly from that support, from the encouragement. The very first night that I met these folks, I knew within an hour that I'd met 20 of the best friends I'm ever going to have. In addition to helping you learn the content of the course, the nature of the assignments are really tailored towards helping you move towards that dissertation process and you almost get miniature aspects of the dissertation early. For instance, some classes you'll see like miniature literature reviews. In another class you might have to do a mock methods proposal. All these pieces that at the end go into your dissertation proposal, you could be knocking that work out and making it a real world application by using those assignments to pre-build your dissertation. The faculty are very accessible, both inside and outside of class. They're accessible to talk about my specific methods or my specific topics. To have that accessibility around the idea of a dissertation really takes some of the fear away from the whole process for me. I don't have a research background, so coming into a program really not knowing how that process worked, the faculty made it easy to follow a clear path and to bring the whole cohort with them as we go. The faculty, I think, here are outstanding. Uh, they're very knowledgeable. They also understand that we're working adults. They also understand that, you know, maybe if this deadline is set for June 15th, you may need another day uh, because of life or something that happened at work. So they're very flexible. It's high expectations, but with high support. I was a little concerned about the, the distance format. I'd never taken a distance class, and I was amazed and relieved to see that it's very much like a classroom environment. You know, there's the person that raises their hand all the time and the person that's very quiet, and the faculty are able to have that same environment, whether it's distance, whether it's you know a really accelerated week or whatever format you find yourself in. It's not that you're talking to somebody on the phone or talking to somebody on a keyboard, but you're actually talking to a real person face to face. And again, there's that personal connection. The tuition pricing plan, how ODU puts the package together for the community college program, was frankly more affordable than similar programs even in state for me. Even when you factor in the cost of summer institutes and online coursework, Old Dominion is a very affordable but high rigor program. I've seen a greater confidence, I think, in just the ability to do. The courses that we were being asked to take I could use the principles taught in those classes on a day-to-day -day basis with my students. The first time I heard about performance-based funding, I had just heard that the state of Virginia was going to a performance-based funding model. Almost every class I've taken has related specifically, directly, and immediately to something I've been doing on my campus. There are great issues confronting community colleges uh, now and into the future. What this program has allowed me to do is focus in a very intense and very intentional way to think through those problems and to think them through as if I were an administrator. How would I handle those? Uh, how would I develop things that would help students succeed? I think one of the things that the ODU program can list as its strengths is it engages us in those conversations. What's happening not only in your state or at your institution, but we get the opportunity within the cohort to think about what's happening nationally. What are some of the best practices? What are the challenges to those practices? How can they be applied in our individual states? What pieces of legislations 
are supporting or mitigating those problems or, or in some cases exacerbating the problems. All those conversations get to be had in the crucible of the cohort model here at ODU. The rigor is there. If you want to be challenged, you'll have opportunities to be challenged. You'll have opportunities to be stretched. You'll have opportunities to grow. But isn't that really what you're here for? Thank you.